Guys, welcome back. Last time we talked about how the FAA screwed up the video showing everybody in the non-FPV world how remote ID would work. What I want to go through today is a few of the aspects of remote ID and why it's such a bad idea and how it's just going to absolutely crush what was a perfectly safe hobby with no issues at all with anybody anywhere in any country. RC aeroplanes have been around for, for many 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 years. I was flying RC aeroplanes when I was 13. That was in the, in the 70s and we I, I dreamed of having like a Futaba <laughs> controller that would that would control. Now that experience of flying RC planes and learning to fly gliders or making gliders and just throwing them out outdoors and learning all, all about how airplanes work and also making airfix plastic kits sparked my interest as a kid into aviation a long time ago from that i progressed into flying real airplanes at the age of 15 16 I used to go to the airport, wash aeroplanes, and every now and again, somebody, maybe two or three times every couple of months, somebody would say, hey, would you like to come for a ride? And like, that was the whole thing. We used to wash all the planes for free at, at, the, uh, at the flying club. From there, I joined the Air Force, and I worked on Vulcan bombers for many, many years in the 80s, until they were phased out, and then I just, I got out of the Air Force then, because <clears throat> the Nimrod that came in after that, I just wasn't, I just wasn't a fan. And <laughs> I'm one of them people. I've got to like what I'm doing, or I won't do it. So uh, yeah, I got out of them. But yeah, the Vulcan bomber I worked on the Vulcan bomber. That all stemmed from playing and using RC planes and model planes. Fast forward to today, my grandsons in England are into rocketry and doing doing aviation stuff at the moment my other son here who's now in his 20s he flies fpv what's what's going on what's going on in the world that a, a huge corporation like the faa deem all of a sudden model airplanes and children learning to fly as a danger to life and property when there's never been a danger it's like it's like it's a prefabricated danger I don't get it I really don't get it so one of the major drawbacks that everybody's been highlighting is the fact that anybody with an app some down and out or some guy on his bad on his look or a, or a career criminal can can go around they can download a free app they can look around for fpv drones or camera drones and they go oh i know for certain there's going to be a car full of gear there's going to be controllers in them in that gear these are worth fifty hundred dollars on the on the ebay drones There'll be spare drones that they can just go up and steal. They'll know they know that they'll be there. There'll be batteries, chargers. It's like a it's like a treasure, a car treasure chest full of money for drugs. Yes. They'll be able to steal all these things, he'll be saying, and and buy myself some nice drugs with it. Well, yeah, that could be a problem. And what happens if the person flying has got everything in, in a bag, a carry-on bag, and he's like 15, 16, 17 years old, and he's walked to the school field to fly? That's an easy picking as well. That'll be easy to steal, easy to get off, easy to get the, the gear off him. You know, all you need is, is a, I don't want to, I don't want to say it on the, on the internet but all you need is something like this and all the gear is yours 
Yeah. Think twice, FAA. This isn't good for people, the public, and for aviation in itself. For enthusiasts, for people wanting to come through in this in this hobby and maybe use it as a job. It's not good. Stop the FAA. Stop remote ID.